What is up cringe kids? I'm so excited for this week's video. I'm gonna be giving you guys tips and things to expect when going to a farm for your very first time. Now, now I split this video up into four different sections. We have apparel tips, animal tips, courtesy tips, and just what to expect. So if you came here for a specific reason, just go down to, in the description and I'll have different time cards for when each section starts. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna kick this video off with apparel tips because if you're gonna go to a rodeo or a farm, you wanna look like you know what you're talking about. So first things first, I feel like everyone in the entire world should listen to this tip and that's wear a belt if you need one, okay? I do not wanna be seeing anything that I should not be seeing. If you come to a farm and your pants are sagging down, Miguel is just gonna be like, sis that's cringe also to keep your cowboy boots cowgirl boots in good condition is when you take them off do not take them off like how you would with tennis shoes you want to take them off with your hands otherwise it can scuff up the backs of them so if you're gonna go horseback riding depending on what kind of equipment you want to use if you're gonna use a saddle if you're just gonna go with a bareback pad or a bareback if you already use a saddle I would highly suggest to wear jeans because if you wear shorts your legs can get pinched with a saddle you can get saddle sores blisters all right, now this tip takes this whole game to, to a higher level. This makes you go from an everyday person to a professional bull rider, calf roper. I don't, I don't know what you want to call this next level, but, but basically it's just how you want to wear a cowboy hat. So, so personally, I feel like if you if you want to look professional, you should wear it where where the tip of it is pointing directly at you, like this not like this it's totally fine if you do want to wear it pointing up like that it's just if you make it look like that personally i feel like it makes you look more professional and like in the business all right so this next category will be for all the animal tips that i have and also some safety tips when you're around them now you always got to remember that the animals are mainly used to me and sometimes miguel so since at first they are going to be hesitant coming up to you because they're not familiar with your scent they don't know who you are another thing to remember is some of the relationships that i have with my animals took months years to build and a lot of patience so don't feel bad if you go to a farm and an animal's like whoa what the heck are you trying to do to me um, they just don't know who you are, and so of course they're going to be hesitant and warming up to you. So first things first is you don't want to ever run up to an animal when you're first meeting them because it can spook them like horses, cows, sheep, a lot of them herd animals that if one runs then they all will start running and then, it, and then it can be really hard to try and gain back their trust that quick. And unfortunately that happens to a lot of kids is they get so excited when they see a horse or a cow that they'll just go running up to them and then it'll spook them. So, so if you're a parent or if you're a little kid watching this, just don't do that. Just walk up calmly by me because if they see me, then they'll be more willing to trust you. Another big safety tip is when you buy all these big old animals, you want to always make sure that they know you're by them. And so whether that's maintaining eye contact with them, talking to them, touching them, it's just they always should know that you're by them. And another big thing is getting down to their level. So I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but Akbar, he's really short. Like he's as tall maybe as tall as my knees um and so that's why you always see me down to his eye level because you always want to try and put yourself in the animal shoes um if you can imagine a big old person going like this like looking down at you that's kind of scary whereas if you're like down to their level then it's more calming and more like oh like i want my face squeezed like of course i'm gonna go walking up to her all right so here's some courtesy tips you got to remember that farm kids and farm people think about things in a different way than city people and city kids are raised um, the amount of things that I see happen on the news that is considered acceptable um, in those big towns, I guess, um, would not be acceptable here. So, so you just got to remember that, you know, use your manners. You don't have to go to the full, like, yes, ma'am, no, sir. But just try and be nice. A big, big, big thing is do not correct a farmer, especially if they're older than you. That's just a big respect thing. I got to tell you all some tea, okay? So here's a prime example of what you do not want to do. So a couple days ago, me and Miguel went to go buy two continental bunnies. Now they weren't even that big. They were probably like, I don't know, this big a piece. Um, and, and, and we were kind of like in a city, like I felt uncomfortable standing in the little driveway that this guy had. Um, but anyways, we got them, it was totally fine. We drove like 20 minutes. Now keep in mind, we were in a city, so we were flying down the highway. Anyways, so we go to the nearest tractor supply because we were running out of rabbit feed. We go in there, then we're at the checkout area, and this guy comes in with his dog. 
Dogs are allowed in Trouser Supply. I'm not going that way with this story. But this guy comes into Trouser Supply. His dog is literally jumping up at everyone. He has it in like this weird harness thing, whatever. And this guy has the audacity to come up to me and Miguel and be like, are those your rabbits out there? And Miguel's like, yeah, why? And he's like, well, how long have you had them? And Miguel's like, I don't know, 20 minutes? And he's like, we're well, not gonna have them for much long if you don't start taking care of them and giving them water and blah, blah, blah. And I was freaking out. I'm like, you don't come in here and start telling me how to take care of my animals when you clearly don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, if he had the time to be looking in the back of a truck at two rabbits, how much you wanna bet his dog was jumping up at them? If other animals are jumping up at rabbits, they can go into a heart attack. So he goes like, yeah, whatever, it's not worth my time. So then we go out and, and I check up on the rabbits and they're fine, they're literally just laying there. Another big thing is just have common sense and that goes with a lot of things on farm life like don't leave the gate open because the animals are gonna come out and don't come here and start complaining like oh it smells there's flies it's like it's like come on just don't be complaining all the time all right so here's the what to expect section number one is farms are not what they look like on TV if you're gonna go to a farm with animals on and stuff it's not going to be clean white fences like they show on tv at least i don't think it is i've went to a lot of farms in my lifetime and 90 percent of the time they do not look like that if they're actually being used so, so the big thing that i want you guys to take away from this video is that farmers have a lot of respect for their animals and personally i feel like the worst thing a person can do is walk away from a farm and then start bad mouthing or talking bad about the farm itself or the animals i take my animals health and well-being very seriously i put that before any Anything else in my life so if a person were to do that I just feel like that'd be very disrespectful and I do not take that lightly at all all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you gained some knowledge during it hopefully you'll come out of this video a little smarter than you were before um, but yeah if you have any questions comment them down below I'll try my best to answer all of them but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe share with your friends stay cringy and I'll see you in the next one bye